Zen. Erected in 1920, Guernsey High School's ancient, unexplainable phenomena happen in spontaneous moments. Pencils will disappear, lights will flicker, objects will move, and sometimes putrid fumes sprout in the hallways. As unexplainable these things may seem, there may be a blame for it all. Ghosts! Several occurrences have happened at the high school blaming only a ghost. See an anonymous student in the band. Do you believe that there is paranormal activity at Guernsey High School? Yes. What makes you believe that there is? Well, a few years ago, a senior was practicing in the bedroom and another light cover fell on another figure. Do you think this is a coincidence? No, I don't think it was a coincidence. Was it tampered with by him? I don't think it was tampered with either. We waited until he was playing the red light fell. Thanks for your time. There aren't just conveniently falling light grades. Commonly, ghosts will steal pencils from students only to leave them with an empty pencil case. Something unexplainable will occur, and pencils will simply disappear into thin air. Many students will never see their pencils again. Hey, sir, my pencil. No. Oh, I just woke up and it's not on my desk anymore. Look for it, it's not on the ground. With all the evidence presented, it was brought to Mr. Anderson for his statement on the matter. Now that you've seen our evidence, are you convinced that it could be paranormal activity? Well, here's the deal, guys. Like, I love all things scary and horror and, and scary kids and scary teachers and Halloween. Like, that's my thing. I love it. But ultimately, I'm a rational person. And I'm the type of person that, in order for me to believe something, I have to see it. And in my experience here at the high school, I have not seen any real physical proof that there's anything supernatural. Well, have you had any personal experience that just couldn't be explained at all? Well, there's always things, right? I get here real early in the morning. You know, I'm usually one of the first people in the building in the morning. And I'll come in and the lights will be out. And it's real dark and kind of creepy. And I'll be making copies. And, you know, every now and then I'll hear a noise. I'll hear a door open or close. And I'll go and look and there's nobody there. Sometimes I've even heard guitar music like somebody's playing a guitar out the halls and I come out and there's nothing there. Um, now, years past, I was assumed it was Mr. Salonic walking up and down the halls playing his guitar, but I never saw him. And so, you know, if you ask me, are there things that I can't explain? Sure, but you know, that's life. From where I sit, I haven't yet seen any proof, hard proof that there's anything supernatural here in the high school. There have been stories of two students investigating the issue themselves. Legends say there is a hidden basement far away from students under the English Hall staircase. The story is that they broke in and filmed a one-of-a-kind video in the depths of the school. I'm currently in the old basement of the high school, which has been abandoned for decades. Today we're going to find out what holds. The writing on its walls date back to 1946. Who knows what could have happened down here. Today I'm going to find out how far the black and tunnel in the basement goes. What was that?
They never went back down there, both refusing to believe it's anything but a ghost. After seeing all this evidence, ask yourself, is there a ghost in Grand City High School? <laughs> Alright, that was a good shot, Jonas. What the heck, Ryan? I think there's what a ghost. What the heck, dude? I think there's a ghost. There must be. Guys, these are weak slams. What? These are weak slams. <laughs> 